Hello, welcome back to another fabulous video on my channel. I'm Jacob from Jacob's Here, and today we're going to be talking about this speed build that I spent a uh, good path of an hour doing. I wanted to build a small little starter home that ended up being 40,000 million, so don't ask me about it. I have this book sitting next to me that is like dedicated to like starter homes and traditional homes and stuff, and I'm just kind of making my way through them and things like that um, for different speed builds. I'm enjoying it. It's a great time. I would recommend getting, like, I didn't even really think about getting a book that was, like, full of floor plans before. And I'm just so happy I did. It was a great idea. Because, like, I'm not even, like, really using the floor plans. I got to say, this one I pretty much used the floor plan for. But it changed drastically because the lot was, like, way too small for the actual house that I was planning on building. Which I guess would make sense. This is, like, a four-bedroom home. And I it's a one-bedroom home in the video. <laughs> <laughs> like it got downgraded significantly because I played it on such a smaller lot and I don't know I'm enjoying it and we'll see how it goes as we continue using using it I think it's a nice better and easier way than just going on Google and searching the six same houses and I think I can maybe get a little bit more success out of it we'll have to wait and see also I think building bigger houses might be a little bit easier this way since the floor plan is there if I get lost and we're scared so yeah all right, what what else can we talk about? Oh, let's talk about where I've been. That's a good that's a good point, Jacob. Where have you been? I have been gone um, from the interwebs. Well, not really. I've been on BookTube a little bit. I have a BookTube channel. I think it's linked down below. I also have a Twitch channel, and I have been in both of those locations quite a bit. I'm not gonna lie to you, they have both been active. I've been playing several games over on Twitch. Um, we are playing. Uh, we just started a new one, Dying Light Two. We should have started the first part of the campaign um last night because it came out at midnight and it's like my one of my most anticipated games of the year so i definitely wanted to try to start it and so i've been streaming but there's a few reasons i had not intentionally taken off like i did not intentionally want to take off the rest of um december like i did it just happened to be that december was really rough for me personally due to a lot of personal things that happened in my life in December, it makes it really rough. Then also, just in general, I was having a hard time. <laughs> like normal. Decembers are always rough for me. But I had intentions of posting videos the whole entire month. I was going to do 25 days of Jacobmas, which I think we're still planning on doing next year. Or, I mean, this year. So, that's still going to be, like, a thing. I think we're going to be much, much more, like, this is what's going to happen instead of going by the seat of my pants. Because that was a bad idea. And then... For January, it actually just happened to be really sick during January to the point of where like recording was like just not on the table. And so by the time I got started recording, it was like maybe two weeks until January or maybe a week until January ended. And I was like, we're just going to wait till February and I'll try to like back, you know, try to get back into it. And then also, I'm not going to lie, I kind of fell out of The Sims. Um, part of that was the fact I took such a long break from it and I've not really been playing it on stream either because I've been trying to fall back in love with The Sims and I kind of want to do it on my own instead of like having a family that I'm like obsessed with, which is what happens on stream. I have the buildings and I'm pretty much obsessed with them and I never want to stop playing them. And But when I'm trying to do YouTube videos, I can't make videos about the buildings because it's like a streaming thing. So I also wanted to fall back in love with Sims. I have yet to do that which is concerning. I get that, but I, I have yet to do it. I'm, I think I'm not far from it. I think we're very close to falling back in love with the Sims. So I'm very excited about it. I'm very, um, yeah, I have a new series that's going to be starting, uh, tomorrow after this video goes up and I'm really looking forward to it. It's been a series in my mind for a while now and yeah, we'll see how it goes. It's a similar series. A few other people I've seen have done something very similar to that. Okay, we there was a cut change. I finished the build like an hour ago, and this is me finishing it. The house has gotten smaller. I cut out like me dip like making the house smaller. Also, I had to say the house having like that like the door being like put inside this like little entryway that you have to go through. I absolutely adored. I very much loved it. And I think it turned out really pretty and I'm, I'm a very big fan of it. So yeah, that's like my big takeaway from this house. I also really like the kitchen. I think it's very homey, but we'll talk about more, a little bit of that as well as we, when we do the house tour later on, I used a lot of different packs. Honestly, this house is kind of like just for me to talk about my life where I've been, you know, to give you kind of guys an update while you guys get to watch me build a house that I think is kind of cute. 
that was kind of the point here. And I got nothing else for you. Sorry. I like it, though. I think it's nice. I do miss building, and so I'm really excited to be back to be building and stuff. And for the month of February, specifically, it's a shorter month. And so I decided to take the time to kind of do what I wanted to do. I have a few planned series and stuff that are going to take some time to do that I'm going to be working on this month. But they're not going to be debuting until March. Just because, it, like I said, it takes a little bit of time and things. I'm not like really in the mood to do those, and so I just wanted to play the game. So this month we're going to be doing some speed builds um, all month long. And then we're also going to be doing this new series, like I said, that we're going to be starting, which I'm really looking forward to. And yeah, it's going to go back and forth between those two things. And the next month we're going to put some type, like some different stuff in here. We're going to do a few other things. All things I'm looking forward to and stuff, but nothing that I'm like in the mood to do right now. So we'll I'll start it and then we can talk about it when, when it happens. I just I love this kitchen. I think it's so cute. And he's a very country style. Oh, by the way, I think I decided this is like a grandparents' house because I was like trying to figure out like why would you buy a forty thousand dollars million house for one parent, like like his like a single family unless that single family has no plans of being kids and stuff and you're just playing with them because you like really love them and you just don't want to continue on generationally which do you play games like that do you play the sims like that i've never played the sims like that should i let me know by the way and so you built so you bought this house because they can afford it like because financially they're in a place where they can afford it but there isn't like a study or anything so like what are they doing i don't know i'm not really sure so i was thinking grandparents house or like retirement old people couple home old people is that is, is that wrong to say i don't really know oh my god me trying to find a freaking plant to go over in this corner was one of the most annoying experiences of my life i can't even describe it none of the plants worked out all the plants are cute like i picked a lot of key plants in my fence but all of them were too small and i know you can size them up but i just kind of forgot about it i did not forget about sizing down sizing up though i did forget about it. Because, like, it's only, like, a one-bedroom home. Like, you have all your necessities and stuff. You even have a table where you can put, like, a computer on. But I just don't understand the, like, I feel like this would be, like, a retirement home. But they're not, like, really there very much. Like, they just, this is just a home that they get to come home to. And then they get to go out and they get to do all the fun things that, like, retired people do. I don't know what those would be. So I guess I should have probably put some, like, knitting, maybe some stereotypical retirement things down. I don't really know, to be fair. All I know is that, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of the house down below. There is two bathrooms. I don't know. I want them to have a master. The, uh, out, the one that's for the public is just a, um, a half bath. There is no, I guess just a toilet and a sink. And then the bedroom, the front of the house had to be extended for it, but I don't think it really made a difference to the house. It just adds more dimensions and stuff. And I think it makes it look cooler. But other than that, I think it, yeah, I'm pretty happy about it. But yeah, that's everything for my life updates. I'm still at the same job. I'm still doing everything I did before. It's just I had to take some time off, and now I'm back, and I'm really excited to be back. I'm really excited to be making content and stuff. Editing is really fun, but I forgot how like long it takes and how taxing it takes. I kind of got into a groove right before I got off, like stop posting so regularly, and so that groove is gone, and now I gotta find it again and. That's going to take, like, several months to do, which is something I'm not looking forward to. I'd say that's probably the only thing I'm not looking forward to, but we'll do it. We're going to do it and things. I mean, at one point in my life, I wanted to be an editor for, like, movies and stuff, so I do enjoy it. <laughs> and I get a lot of other stuff done. So, yeah, um, I have all the content planned out for the month, which should help. I have no plans of doing in your reviews except for game pack reviews and stuff uh the game pack is supposed to be coming out i also have a review up on this channel for the new um kit which i adored so you guys should totally check out that video and the house tour is coming up real soon so we'll jump over to jacob on a different day when he filmed that i don't know what he says there i'm interested to see what i say there and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and let's go ahead and jump over. Oh, I mean, we have the outdoor. We'll do the outdoor real fast, you know. Um, this requires us to do some painting. And we're going to make, like, a back to backyard garden and stuff. I just think it's really cute. It's really small. It's really expensive. It's already up on the gallery. So if you want to download it, my gallery handle is people fly away. Or people fly fly away, I think it might be. I think there might be two flies in that one. 
By the way, we're gonna jump into the house tour. Okay, we're gonna jump into the tour portion of the speed build. Let's go ahead and get started started basically once you walk in so one of my favorite elements about this build that i really liked was this element right here where it's kind of like inside the wall i really 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 like that once you walk in you have like this very tiny hallway and as you guys can see here this house was actually supposed to be a lot bigger it's actually like a four bedroom home the one i was looking at that was kind of based off of this and i turned it into a one bedroom home for a whopping total of forty-two thousand million. so this is a useless house but it's cute so it's fine so this door leads into the bedroom which i actually really like this bedroom and it also has like an, an open closet and its own bathroom then this door this like little archway leads into the kitchen which is probably where all the money went, but I think it looks really, really cute and very like homey and things. I just very much enjoy what the kitchen turned out to look like. And I'm not really sure if this door is accessible, like if your sim can actually walk through here or not, just because of this archway right here. But I wanted a chair, I wanted this to be right here. So like I sacrificed the archway. There is no archway over here. So like there is a way to get into the living room in case you do want to live here for some odd reason. Maybe like this is like a grandparent's house. I guess it could work in that regard. Maybe I'll call it like grandparent's home. This is what the living room looks like. I had a hard time picking a tree as you guys could see, but other than that, I think it turned out really nice. This back way ended up, was supposed to be turning into like a bigger way, but I turned this into like a little laundry room in like a closet. And then this is the way to come out here where you would plant your plants and stuff. And then this goes out into like the actual like normal like world. And then if you go through here, in here is your, oh, we talked about the bedroom, right? Yeah. Oh, I, okay. And this is a half bath over here and that is the house i'm a really big fan of it so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments down below i would love to know and with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching and if you want to give this video a big fat thumbs up it really helps my channel so so much and i currently have a giveaway going on as well i'll link the review at the end of this video so you guys can find out about it and i'll talk to you guys all next time goodbye